Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I'm in my foyer. And as you can see in my foyer, I have decorated it for fall. But I'm here today to do some changes. I I'm not ha I'm happy with how the foyer proper looks. I think it looks very pretty. It's well done and all of that. But my foyer sits in close proximity to hang on here. Let me see what I can loosen up here to show you to right there to that. This is in my living room and this is my foyer. And I just got this table several months ago and it doesn't bother me too much to have kind of the two tables kind of back to back there, if you will. But in truth, it really is bothering me and I want to do some changes. So I don't want quite as much in my foyer for a while there. I didn't put anything in my foyer because when Sophie was living and Gracie was living, their tails would kind of knock everything everywhere. And uh, so I really didn't put anything in. And then after they went, I put this vase in. And then I added the, the lantern uh, after last year's uh, Salvation Army stint. <laughs> and then just recently I added the table. And like I said, if my foyer sat more by itself, that would be lovely. You know, that would be lovely to step out. And I made that wreath and that would be lovely. But with this over here being so close, it's too much. So what I'm gonna do yeah, I'm gonna is switch I'm this whole centerpiece out. So I'm gonna discard the footage that I have of that. And we're gonna remake this little bowl uh, for the foyer table. What I'm gonna try to do, we'll see if this goes all right. Actually, Chris is going to because I, he's gonna do the heavy lifting for me and then I'll come back and show you. But I would like this uh, vase to be put in this corner over here and you really well let me see and you can see where that I have this uh, the, it, this is you can't even see it but it's like a long lattice looking thing I want to put the vase here in this corner and I want to build an arrangement around this and then I want to switch this table to the other side so when I look, whoops, sorry, when I look into the foyer, I'm gonna see, you know, an, a, a table arrangement in the living room, but then on this side of the foyer where the table is now, it's gonna be less intrusive. In fact, I might move the lattice into this corner, if anything, and I'm gonna put the table where this vase goes. So let me get all that situated. Uh, since Chris won't be on camera, I'm, I'm gonna enlist his help and, and I'll be back and then we'll do, well, I'll show you how the foyer looks and then we'll do an arrangement in this uh, centerpiece right here. I got a couple of new things from Hobby Lobby. I walked in there to find little pumpkins for my three tier tray and all right, I'll be right back in a few minutes. Well, discombobulated, but I had to explain. I had a whole video. I had a whole video footage done of just nothing but the foyer. And y'all, I just couldn't, I couldn't, I just couldn't. It was, I kept walking out here, looking at it going, oh, this is driving me crazy. I don't like this. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. So, all right, I'll be back when we get some stuff switched around in here. Okie dokie, you guys. Well, there you can see the table got switched from this side to this side and you can see that everything's kind of backwards on that which i will fix uh and then here is that big vase which i think i think looks really pretty 
in this corner, which I'll get back to this corner. I'm not sure about in this video, but I will get back to this corner to do this cozy corner in another video. Here, let, let me, me show you this. Okay, obviously I need to switch everything around. And you can see that I have this kind of a gold flecked pumpkin. And I, I want to use that. Let me just do a little switcheroony here. And first of all, I'm gonna take this over and put it on the dining room table because this is what we're gonna redo today. Right back over here. And you know what, I need to get something to dust this table. I'll be right back. Again, I use my Bona that Chris mixes up just with water. We buy the concentrate and he mixes it with water. Not sure I'm gonna use I Love You a Bushel on a Peck. I might find something else. Anyway, the same thing for, for down below. I'm gonna just switch everything around down there and uh, just, you know, flip flop it. And then we'll go over and we'll start working on that arrangement on the dining room table. And then we'll get it all put together. Yeah. I am trying to pull in some blue, but it's going to be more in the, yeah, I'm going to leave these down here, but you can see in these that the blue is a lighter blue, and there's actually a bit of this kind of this color in these as well. So it all blends together beautifully. So I think I'm just going to take the palette up a little bit over here in the foyer just a little lighter with the lighter greens although I am going to use this little idea again so I did want to show you this dish that I found really cute little dish from over there at the uh, Minute Man Mini Mall over in Culpeper Virginia it was $20 but it's really cute look at it and I just this is like a velvet cream pumpkin, so I just kind of stuck that in there like that, which I thought was pretty. And that'll go down on the bottom. And we'll figure out what else will go down here when we get done with that arrangement. I have these, I have these kind of gold birds that kind of pair really nicely with this pumpkin. <laughs> All right, so let me get myself set up over here at this dining room table and we'll start working on that little arrangement. I'll show you what I got from Hobby Lobby to uh, kind of pull all this together. You can see the gold leaves on here. Keep those in mind. And uh, I'll be right back in just a second. Okie dokie, I'm back. Whew, I've been running around here like a crazy woman. <laughs> What's new? This is what I get for changing my mind. Oh my goodness, again, you guys, I am a, I'm a hot mess. Uh, literally a hot mess, woo! Uh, but I got excited about this when I, you know, again, an epiphany hit me when I was in bed this morning and I woke up and it was, I'll tell you the truth, I was out here walking out here about midnight last night going, this is just bothering me. This foyer is just bothering me. It's just way too much. I just don't like it. It's, I've toned down my decor a little bit from how I've done it in years past. I don't want this much stuff. Yet, you cannot call me a minimalist. Nobody. I've always said that from the very beginning of my channel. I am not a minimalist. Don't want to be a minimalist. I, I don't care for that kind of thing, and that's just me. That's nobody else, and I'm not saying anybody else should feel that way. That's just the way I feel. Yet, I don't need so much. I mean, you saw my lantern centerpiece, and you saw this swag that's up here on my grandmother's uh, hutch. Y'all, I am not a minimalist, but it was too much. That was way too much. With the hutch, then the foyer, then that table, blah, 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 just too much. So, Anyway, I've got the table switched around as you saw, and now I'm fixing to work on this little centerpiece here, but I wanted to show you a couple of things that I picked up from Hobby Lobby this morning first. I walked in there looking for a small pumpkin. Where'd that go? I did buy one. Where'd it go? Here it is. To go in my three-tiered tray over there, and I did buy that. <laughs> Give thanks, little cream pumpkin for there, and that was $3.99, uh, you know, 40% off. 
there at Hobby Lobby. And But anyway, so I got that. And then as I was walking through, I said, what? That wreath, it's got gold, it's got kind of a green blue, but yet I wanna pull in the blue. How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna pull everything together with that wreath? You know, because I don't wanna take the wreath apart. I don't, I love the wreath as is. It's gonna stay as is. And I, trust me, I tried to re, to fiddle around with it the other day and bad blue to it. I was like, no, you either make a wreath from scratch or you use this wreath and you incorporate blues around it and let that sit by itself. So that's what I've chosen to do. It is a blue green, so it's okay. But still, I was like having heart palpitations about that. Trying not to recreate the wheel, you know? Regardless, I said, I really like, I have gold elements out there. I have those, like the burlap pumpkin I showed you, it has gold flecks in it. I've got the little birdies with gold in them. I've got the gold candlesticks that I got from Ann That, and I like those, and I thought, what can I get? And I'm walking down, just looking, 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 and I'm like, what in the world? Well, first thing I came across was this little guy. <laughs> Look at him. He's so cute, my little squirrel. And he's holding a gold acorn. Look at him. He is the cat's meow with that gold acorn, isn't he? He thinks he's all that in a bag of chips and then some. <laughs> I not only got him, but I got his partner in crime. I got two of them. <laughs> and these will replace the two birds, the two blue and white birds. You can maybe see sitting down there these two are gonna replace the birds. So I thought, aren't they cute? Now, you know, I had that white piece of, uh, it looked kind of florally in there before. It almost looks like it's a macrame kind of thing, only like uh, stiff, you know? And I thought, well, that's cute in there, but then I looked up, and in the same place right where these squirrels were, here was this leaf. And if you look close, it's got gold around the edges. Look at that. Yet it's white, too. Same color as the squirrels. So I went, hello, I've got my centerpiece. So I took out the birds and I took out the back thing and I'm going to redo this centerpiece but using these accent pieces instead of the three I just spoke about. So let's turn the camera and see what I can do. I also got this. was this. $9.99, 40% off. And then these fellas, I think they were $11.99, 40% off. Yeah, $11.99, 40% off. So, all right, let me turn my camera here and we're gonna get started and try. we're gonna try to create something here. I also from, oh, I did buy these two from Hobby Lobby. They don't have my gold leaves, but I had a few. That I found, I went downstairs last night, I came across these. I also actually have two more downstairs that I had on this, this lantern. So I, I was gonna add them to this lantern, but I added orange and this lantern looks perfectly wonderful. I mean, if I had found these then, I would have added them, but I didn't have, I didn't put my hands on that. So anyway, here we go. I've got these two. So I am gonna incorporate some gold of these. So it's meant to be. It was meant to be. I didn't use it in my centerpiece. Anyway, let's get started. Gee whiz, I'm yammering on. Goodness gracious. All right, let me turn my camera. Well, y'all, I called uncle, 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 uncle. I could not get that dumb picture holder to work in here. It had to be too wide apart or too close together and for it to sit and for me to cinch it down. So I called the handy dandy, the hand, Chris, and he used a coat hanger. 
he uses coat hangers for all of this stuff. And yes, he is an engineer, you guys. He is a mechanical engineer. That's what, what he is, let me tell you, to his core, to his core. And he knew what he wanted to be when he was just a little boy. So, but anyway, I wonder why. But anyway, he took a, a coat hanger and he rigged this up like this. And not only did he make it so that it'll sit, and we have it cinched down with one tie wrap. Do y'all know how many tie wraps I've gone through trying to get this thing to stay where I want it to stay? You don't want to know. Too many. But he has this held out. This is the coat hanger here, and he has it, has it held down with one little tie wrap, and he's got it hooked around. He made a little, a little plate hanger kind of thing. Oh my goodness, it's something else. So he did that. Then this is, this is just a, a, a wrist uh, weight that he uses when he walks or around his, I don't know whether that's around his wrist or, wrist or his ankles. But anyway, he has that set in there because if not, this will fall fall back. See that? And he said, while you're talking about it, he said, just put that in there <laughs> so that it'll hold it down. So I need to get uh, the weight of the squirrels in here. Uh, but first of all, I need to be conscious and hold this down. The, my greenery goes in first. So let's get it in first. Oh my goodness, I was almost in tears, y'all, trying to figure this out. You know, when you can see something, but you just can't bring it, I just could not bring it to fruition. I just couldn't. It was just, and it was doing nothing but frustrate me, and I was practically in tears. And I just said, Chris, can you please come help me? And bless his heart, he did. Okay, now first thing I wanna do is get these squirrels set down in here. So there, see that holds them right there. I want one there, and then I want one over here. The wall is gonna be behind this, and I want these two fellas to kind of point it in the, in the same direction. Kind of like that. Now, next thing I wanna do is add some of this gold, these gold leaves. So I think I'm gonna start with three, and I may not use any more than that. But Okay, and now the only other thing I want to do is add some of my florals back in that I used before, bringing in some more of the blue, bringing in some of the cream. I have a couple of these, and I just want one of these in. These are the same things that are in the wreath up there. So I thought I would just use one of these kind of I'm not sure where. I don't want to hide the leaf. But yeah, let me turn it this way to myself here for a second. Now I'm just going to start playing, y'all. So just bear with me here. Remember I had these red florals? Remember how I'm trying to infuse a little bit of orange into everything? I had these downstairs. I thought these might be cute. Just to put a little something something here and there. These might actually just, yeah they do, they pull right off. This is all I have too, so. And I don't want a ton. I keep saying that, don't I? In every video, I'm like, Arlen, you need to find something else to say. Those leaves are gonna stay in there. They might not want to, but they're gonna. Okay. So I'm gonna will them to do so. Had some 
cream here somewhere. Here we go. I'm not done with the orange yet, but I want to get some couple of cream elements in here too. And some darker blue. Okay, finally, this thing's coming together. Goodness gracious me. What a mess. I got this at Simply Fall. What is that? Joann's? Last year. Okay. I like it. Finally. Oh, my heavens. Now, the other thing I could think of was it would be maybe one there and one over there. Ah, I like that. Can you see that? No, you can't see what I just did. There we go. I'm going to go put this into place over on the table and then I'll come back. Okie dokie, everybody. I'm back. And here is that arrangement, which of course I will, you know, show you in great detail at the end here. But it turned out really, really pretty. We ended up having to put a weight in the bottom of the bowl. My ideas, I'm telling you, are sometimes very, very hard <laughs> to bring to fruition. What can I say? I'm just, I've got too many bright ideas and and sometimes not enough ingenuity within myself to, to bring it to fruition, you know? Thank goodness for Chris. I tell you, you guys, I say this all the time. I say it all the time. I could not decorate without him. I'm telling you, I could not do what I do without his help because I was so frustrated with this bowl that I practically was in tears. And I am not even kidding you. I am not even kidding you. I was in tears. Okay, I got myself actually another Chris found this. This is not an expensive little candle. We got it off of Amazon. It's super cheap and it does not have a timer and it took three AAA batteries. So I like it because it sets up a little higher in here. And there we go. Just the same greenery. I'm not going to put anything inside other than just the greenery. And I'm going to close it up. And now, because it's sitting this way, I want the greenery to come down from this side. And I have a couple of tie wraps here. And I, did I forget? No, I finally remembered my snippers. <laughs> and I'm going to put the same green greenery back on this lantern. And I'm just going to do this little project. My goodness, it has been, y'all don't know how much to how much timed footage I have here. I don't know how long it's been so far for you guys. Hopefully not that long. For me, it's been hours. <laughs> I just, there's days that you just need to hang up your shingle, you know, and just hang it up for the day, you know? Today is one of those days for me. I should have never started to craft. <laughs> I think one will be fine. All right, let me get this little bow on here now, and I'm just gonna tie it on with the tie wrap that I used to make the bow. I kind of want it down a little bit because it does. Okay, now I have my plate with the blue on it and my plate stand. And I've got my little bowl. You see how that candle jets up again uh, behind that? And I have my two little birds to bring the gold down. There we go. Phew! Cute. All right, now believe it or not, I'm going to turn around here and do a little something something to this uh, business that I have going on behind me here. So after all that, I kind of like the plaid 
more than I like the cream. And that'll pull the, I really like, I don't like this. Isn't that awful? Hello, sorry. <laughs> Hang on, changing my mind. I really like this, because it's more of a white, not a cream. This is, in person, is more of a cream. It's pulling my eye. So we're gonna put this right back on, and we're going with the plaid, you guys. I like it. I like that much better. All right, now let's turn around here and look at what we have going on over here. I got this from the Minuteman Mini Mall, and this is a nesting, you know, these are three nesting boxes. And I thought it might be kind of cute sitting here because it is fall themed, you know, and it's from Lang. I got this for $6, you guys, $6. And I thought, how cool is this? I'm not gonna need this over here because nothing's gonna be lit. And I thought this might be cool to bring in, is that these have blue, but also bring in the colors of fall and pull over a bit of the pink. Kind of looks cute, huh? I kind of like that. I found these two in the basement and this is what I had tied together to go on my lantern centerpiece last year. Why couldn't I do something like that and then stick that in there some way? Just tie wrap this together like this. Y'all can see my wheels turning today, I bet, huh? <sighs> what a day it has been for me, hopefully. Okay, that's it. I'm not touching anything else today. I'm gonna to turn around here and I'm gonna do some final words. I can't do any more. That's it. Okie dokie, y'all. I am finished. I'm done. I'm not touching anything else today. <laughs> uh, when all is said and done, I'm very happy with what I did today, but I'll tell you, it really gave me troubles. This arrangement especially in that bowl, trying to bring to fruition what I purchased for it, and thank goodness for Chris, you know, who really helped me out. And then everything else came together once I got that, that up. So, okay, with all of that said and all of that done, <laughs> let me go into some final words and then I'll come back with a, when I get everything cleaned up around here, I'll come back with a final video of the foyer here. So let me just say that I hope that those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, come back for one more video of everything pulled together. I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. Okie dokie, you guys. I had to come back later. We had some terrible thunderstorms go through here. So I lost internet for a while, and then we ate dinner, and then we had more thunderstorms. So it's been crazy here. So I thought I would come back and just talk you through uh, my last little bit of a video here because I did pull in my new candlesticks that I wanted to show you. And I vacuumed <laughs> and I cleaned up all the glitter and I got everything straightened up. So, you know, I'm super happy. Now let me get back again and show you the whole foyer. Now there is that little cozy corner. I'm not sure what else I'm gonna do there, if anything else, but wow. that makes my eye much happier to only have that little bit of something, something in the foyer 
right next to that instead of having all of that next to that this is much better it makes my it makes my eyes much happier so anyway let me come on in here and you can see i pulled in those lovely candlesticks beautiful candlesticks that i got from d over there at the thrill of the thrift and she sent these to me i paid her for them <laughs> she did not give them to me but look how they look pretty they're sitting there you know flanking the pretty boxes those pretty boxes and then with the one little panel there with uh, the little pick and gold leaves tie wrapped onto that little wreath i love it just a little something something there but let me go up here to my wreath that i made last year and i'll give you guys a you know an i card or a link or both to this that's a nine loop funky bow i believe and you know this was not difficult to make although if i remember right i had a terrible time with this pumpkin that I would do totally different now. <laughs> but I think, if I remember right, I had a terrible time getting that to stay on there. But here is the little my little table. And uh, again, the lamp is from Hobby Lobby. And all of, and the candy dish is what that is, the leaf is. And the squirrels came from Hobby Lobby, as did the leaves last year though, not this year. I have not seen these leaves this year. But after all is said and done, and after Chris helped me rig up the candy dish and then put weights in the bowl, <laughs> help me out big time, I'm very happy with how that worked out. I only have a touch of the orange over here. And that's all the orange that I really put, except that, that kind of you know, looks yellowy down there, so that's okay. And then here's the bottom shelf, that pretty little new dish that I got, new kind of porcelain basket, and then one of the beautiful plates that Dee sent me with another Staffordshire plate, my, my new deal this year by gluing my plates together. <laughs> I'm loving it. And then a couple of gold birds that match this kind of burlapy gold pumpkin up here and you know going going ahead with the plaid bow that I already had on there I love it I'm very happy with how it worked out now but anyway that's it y'all that is it for this one so I've already said my final words and I'm sorry if this one was a bit discombobulated <laughs> it really was a bit discombobulated Look, my lights just came on out front here. Let me go out here and show you. I have nothing out here. No decorations at all. At all, at all. Other than my welcome sign that Stacy made. I still, everything out here looks the same. I still have my patriotic rug. <laughs> but I did, as you all know, put this, this wreath out here. And here's all my, it's kind of wet and I'm in my slippers. But I'll go down and give you a little look the flower beds look how I love the lighting Chris did to the front of the house you can just still hear the thunder the Sun is fixing to set here but we have uh, pathway lights and up lights you can see one underneath the tree there and spotlights you can see the spotlight there and wash lights which kind of wash the front of the house and then of course the lights in the windows and I hear rustling in the woods, which I'm betting, I'm hoping, are deer. We have had a bear around here again this year. <laughs> but, alrighty, that'll do it, you guys. <laughs> so with all that said, again, I'll just say, until next time, I'll take good, good care. Bye-bye.